Hey Drone Nerds, Matt here. Today, we're doing a video on use cases for the new DJI Zenmuse H30 series. We've got a DJI Matrice M350 RTK with us, as well as an H30 payload. Now, if you can see behind me here, there's a power substation. And these power substations, they need all the components inside of them that make up the substation inspected on a regular basis. So what we're gonna do today is first a 2D map of the power substation area so we can report that back to headquarters. Next, we're gonna use the H30 series optical and digital zoom to inspect individual parts in this power substation. Let's get our DJI Matrice M350 RTK powered up and let the Zenmuse H30 do its calibration. Next, on our remote, we're going to build our mapping mission. In the top right, go to create a route. We're gonna select area route, zoom in so we can place our polygon over the mapping area. Once you tap on the map, you can begin making your polygon. And if you hold any of the points, you can adjust them. Then it's going to ask what aircraft you're using, as well as the payload. For this mission, like I said, we're using the DJI M350 RTK, along with the Zenmuse H30 payload. Next, we'll go into our area route settings and change the parameters for the best 2D map. Now, these settings will change mission to mission depending on flight altitude. The DJI mapping software automatically adjusts the flight route for the most efficient mapping mission. After going through your pre-flight checklist, upload the mission and we're ready to fly. So the drone is going to take off and move to the starting point and then begin taking photos that will be processed in Terra after the mapping mission is over. I'm going to speed this up in post so we can get to the processing in DJI Terra. Once the drone is on its last pass, it's going to move to the center of the map in order to take images for reference to recreate the 2D map in DJI Terra. Now that the mission is complete, let's open up DJI Terra and get these images processing to a 2D map. When creating a new mission in Terra, it's going to give you three different options for recreating a 2D map. Visible light, multi-spectral, or LiDAR point cloud. For this mission, we used RGB, so we're gonna select visible light. We're going to name the mapping mission, click save, select the folder that your mapping mission images are saved in on the SD card on the H30. Because it was a day full with spotty clouds, we're going to select light uniformity. This tells DJI Terra to smooth out the shadows for your 2D map. Once all your parameters are selected, select Start Reconstruction. Depending on how many photos you took, DJI Terra will take a variable amount of time to create your reconstruction. I'm going to speed this process up in post so we can get to the final 2D map. Click OK and you will see your 2D model along with the points on the map where every image was taken. If you click the camera icon in the top right, you can turn all these points off so you can better see your 2D map. And as you can see, the DJI Zenmuse H30 did a great job with our mapping mission, and the final result is a high-resolution 2D map so that we can point out to headquarters where the problem spots are. That way, the utility crew knows exactly where these parts are located so they can repair them. Next, we're gonna put the drone back in the air and inspect individual components of this power substation. And as you can see, the DJI Zenmuse H30 lets us look at each individual component in this power substation. From nuts and bolts to all the utility hardware, the Zenmuse H30, utilizing its foreground stabilization, allows us to get a clear picture of every piece of this power substation. Being located in Florida, we get a lot of storms as well as sun damage, so it's important to inspect every piece of this power substation to validate the component's condition. The DJI Zenmuse H30 series is perfect for use cases such as energy inspection. If you have any questions, you can put those down in the comments. Also, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt. Happy flying.